don't mind right now, I'd like to tell you a little story. And the story goes something like this. It goes, once upon a time I lived in the woods. And I really did. I lived and I worked uh, at a kid's camp up in kind of the uh, northern part of central Alberta. I know something about a tune. There, there's the phone. Um, and of course we had summer camps in the summer. I had kids out. Um, every week, different different group of kids. Uh, this wasn't that long ago. I, I, I waited to go to summer camp until I was after 40. Uh, uh, worked out there for two or three years. And then in, in the spring and the fall, we had school groups out. And we did very much the same things that we did uh, during the summer with the kids, just for a shorter period of time. We'd climb our climbing wall and canoe our canoes and camp on the cool little island that we had. You know, play lots of games. And we also uh, taught the kids what you call them our primitive skills. Those are things like uh, building shelters out of natural materials in the boreal forest, so that, you know if you get stuck there, you don't freeze to death. And how to how to boil water, or well, how to how to purify water by boiling it with red hot rocks, and and, uh, and then there was of course there was fire making as well, and uh, and the uh, this particular skill we taught them was making fire without matches, and that's what. Uh, brought about this particular song was my journey with this particular primitive skill. was 
getting stronger, but my string was not. Just about the time it broke, I thought I had my fill. But I found another string and I gave it a fling. Pretty soon that contraption was starting to sing. I never thought a little puff of smoke could be such a thrill. Now I worked on my skill April, May, and June. With each new try, I learned to fine tune. A little piece here and a little twist over there. Why did I start this thing? I can hardly remember. I didn't think I'd get an ember for the 12th of December. The house is a mess and my pride is in disrepair. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a run. Spin a little swirl around one way, around one way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit the dirt and begin to pray. Solution to my fire desire. The witness right in front of me combustion from a stick. As I carefully halted my bowing action, breathing hard from my excessive muscular contractions, I lifted the spindle slowly away from the board. Much to my awe and my surprise, a thin stream of smoke continued to rise. It was a sign from the creator that could not be ignored. <laughs> Being careful not to blow too hard in the direction of the infant flameling, I began to see the most amazing thing. It was a tiny, fragile, baby, red hot coal. I cradled it in my bundle of tinder. A miniature fairy tale came with safety that would prevent this tender but a new life from remaining only a cinder. <laughs> Allowing its birth into the cold, harsh world it had come to warm. As I softly blew, it pulsed brighter and brighter. Smoke rising denser and thicker and higher when suddenly, out of nowhere, like the cosmic, big banging, pyrotechnically explosion miracle that it was, my bundle burst into a flashing ball of red, life-giving, purifying, no-kill-cooking flame! Hallelujah! <laughs> fire above, fire above.